now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. I'm not quite sure what to say to you about what is going on outside. Um, well, you've already said it every time that your microphone is turned off. All I've heard, I mean, I've been back for two days, people, and it's just complaints, complaints, complaints. I used to be the one complaining before I stepped back into right, these well shoes then, on Monday. You find the silver lining in this 51 degree <laughs> overcast drizzly Your day. Your grass is a beautiful <laughs> green is. color, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar. Hey, also finding some green not just in the grass, but also on the radar. We're still tracking showers, some of them along 95 and uh, up through 495 as well. A little bit of a lull over most of Rhode Island. I've got a couple of stray showers here up through uh, Greenville and around Pasco. You make it a quick downpour as these showers move through. We've got uh, one that's just passing Block Island as well. Uh, trying coming up, trying to come up and clip westerly over the next say 45 minutes to half hour. I have to show you this. These are the temperatures since 5 o'clock in the morning. Notice they have barely budged. We've gone from 48 degrees to 50 degrees and not expecting much more of a climb as we head into the afternoon either. And it feels even cooler than that. It's a raw northeasterly wind at 12 miles an hour giving us a wind chill of 46 degrees and the humidity high 90 so upper 40s to around 50 in Newport right now. A little bit warmer as you head towards the Cape and the islands. That'll be the case this afternoon. Uh, for the future cast, second half of the day, some of those hit or miss showers, about 53 between 3 and 5 o'clock this afternoon. The average high should be 69, almost 70 degrees uh, as we head into the middle of this month. But the evening commute showing those showers, gray skies, roadways will likely still be damp. You know, there's lulls in it, so we're not talking about an all-day soaking, but definitely some pretty damp weather here. And the future cast shows that as well. This is 2 o'clock in the afternoon, really almost hitting that cell that's passing over Block Island uh, and going to be heading towards Westerly pretty well there and showing, again, a lot of dry time, 5.30 in the evening, still overcast skies, more showers on the way for the nighttime hours tonight, and then watch Wednesday morning. Uh, looks like we could see more rain, maybe even steadier and more widespread as we head into the daytime tomorrow, and temperatures will once again be running about 10 degrees cooler than average. So a high today of about 57 in Newport, 54 in Wickford. Again, most of us keeping that northeasterly wind, a few downpours, a lot of moisture to work with. So as these showers pass through, they do include some briefly heavy rainfall. About 51 in Burrillville, 50 Foster Center, and 52 in Johnston. A little bit milder again as you head towards New Bedford, Little Compton at about 56, Seekonk at 53, and Fall River also in the lower 50s. On the bay. Cloudy skies there, fog, showers. High tide was at 813. We've got a low tide coming up in just a little over an hour, about 135 this afternoon. Seven day future cast for you. Uh, it's not looking too great as we head towards the uh, middle and end of the work week. Still the risk of showers every day. The weekend still showing signs of some improvements. There's a slight chance of a shower Saturday, but a lot of dry time as well. And then Sunday, 73. And it's looking like we see, could see some warmer temperatures as we head into next week. So I've got Monday right now at 75 degrees. You can get your updated future cast by heading to our website at WPRI. Dot com. So hang in there, guys. It's a few more days. All right. We'll try. We'll try. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. All right.